I want it so. straight. I don't want. I don't want it looking natural and, and, and. Don't worry. I'm not gonna. It's not gonna look natural, bro. It's not gonna look natural. I promise. My peeps, what's going on? Today, we're gonna go ahead and give my boy Chris Basio a decent old cut. And yes, I said decent because decent is the best I could do for you on this day, Chris. All right, so here we are. Chris, talk to me, bro. What do you want? Are we gonna go for a taper? Are we gonna go for a fade? What do you want? Actually, actually, I lied. I want a fade. For real. I want a fade. I want a fade. A fade. Okay. But besides the skin fade, Chris, what do you want on top? Uh, number seven. Okay. All right. In a way, I'm not mad at that. Maybe he was trying to make it easy on me, so we're just gonna run that number seven. All right, so after running that number seven on the top, guys, I went ahead and grabbed the number six just to run over the ridge. And after that, I comb it down and start balding out. Afterwards, I get rid of the line with the same trimmer that I stamp with. So it's, a, it's, 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 it's real simple, guys. You know, you, you stamp, you shave with the shaver. And after you, you start the, the process of fading and you notice that the line's not coming out, you just come back with the trimmer. We'll get to that in a minute. But first, shout outs to uh, AJ for helping out for just a little bit. And by a little bit, I just mean a few minutes. And if I haven't introduced to y'all, well, actually I did introduce who AJ is. AJ's the newest barber we have at Headlines Barbershop Northdale. This is the, the shop that I'm at for those that often ask you know, in the comment section who or where I'm at. That's where I'm at, if you were just wondering. Tampa, Florida, Northdale Mabry, Headlines Barbershop. That's where I'm at. But anyways, big shout outs to AJ for, you know, trying to help for at least a few minutes before he ended up leaving us. All right, there goes the help. The help is gone. Now I know how you felt. Yeah. When I will be helping you, you'll Damn. Be and you left me. Cool. So at this point, guys, I'm creating my section, my inch section with no blade all the way open. And to me, this is where the action starts, okay? And remember, if you so happen to stamp just like your boy here, it's okay. It's okay because we're going to get rid of it first. We're going to try to get rid of it with the blade all the way closed. And from there, we're going to start fading away with the trimmers. As you can see, I brought the trimmers out. And if it doesn't work this way, try to stretch the skin uh, or flip the blade over. Believe me, it's it's going to come out. Sometimes you even got to bring back the shaver. I actually like this one foil shaver by Gamma. I've been using it for like three months now. And it's one of my favorite shavers. I should have used it later on on this service. I'm going to talk about it a little bit later. But before we get there, make sure you like this video for the algorithm. Go ahead and support the channel, I'm just saying. So we brought out our number two guard, and guys, at this point, you wanna close it up, because after you close it up, we're gonna bring out the number one and a half, okay? And at that point, we're just gonna make sure that our fade meets. Lately, I've been cutting in a way where I don't just fade one direction. I kinda start in the bottom, and then go from the top down and meet. Typically, that's that's been working out for me just well, so give it a try, guys. I like it. I don't know why I just used that big old cone, but. We're continuing the fade. We're back with the number two. And while we uh, are covering that area with the number two, did you notice that little section, that little line, that little gash in the back? I just cut actually somebody today with, with a similar gash. And don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry and think to yourself, oh, because it's there's no hair growing right there that you have to cut higher or anything like that. No, you don't. Just, just cut as if there was hair there. Right, 
right so at this point we are on the beard now the beard game i feel very confident when it comes to beards for some reason when it comes to the mustache area that's probably the most uh work i gotta still do i don't know if you notice his his eyes were flinching a little bit so i had to change the trimmers they were biting a little bit too much and remember when i mentioned the shaver that's where i should have used that one full shaver on on his mustache so i didn't so i didn't have to waste so much time with the razor and you're gonna see soon what i mean by wasting a lot of time with the razor or at least i'm gonna just give you a, a tad bit of what i did i'm not gonna give you the whole the whole spiel again he want he prefers to be in and out and i don't here we go this is youtube stuff right here you see you see what he's doing he's bringing out the camera thanks chris you know just a little bit more pressure on me it's not like it's you know i'm already in my head you had to bring out the camera a few times throughout the service but it's okay i got it papa all right guys so somewhere slithering around the hallways we got nata and nata was looking all service at what i was doing because nata is that type of barber where he'll you know he'll he'll give out signs that you know you need to tighten up a little bit and i understand because there's plenty of tightening up that i gotta do there's plenty of spreading of the blend that i need to do the cleaning up of the ridge and i get it nata you know you're just trying to help me out but you know sometimes it's a bit too much bro you know, I'm just trying to finish and live my best life, not that. And you out here just, you know, looking from the peripheral. Anyways, we're continuing with this haircut. And I'm preparing and checking the angles. Again, I'm not trying to be stuck too much on the detail yet. Because there's still plenty of work to do. There's uh, enhancements that we got to do. Because Chris did want enhancements. And, you know, I'm just trying to clean it up before we get to it. Besides the guards, I have been using shears and texturizing shears uh i got my hands on um better pair of texturizing shears and shears but overall i'm, I'm not trying to stay stuck on it as you can see not that it's right there by my side he's never usually by my side but again chris stopped by so not that's gotta stop by my station all right so we're prepping up to do the color enhancement i'm cleaning the area up from all the oils that he probably had in his forehead and we're cleaning up and as i started i started realizing you know what the color is just getting on top of the hair and I need to get closer to the skin. So I raised the hair up, try to get under there first. And then I came back with the enhancement card and continued. But, you know, sometimes it doesn't hurt to move the hair first, guys, because that's the whole idea of the enhancement. You want to stain the skin, not so much just cover the whole section of hair. It's more so darkening up the light areas that your client has to make it seem like there's more fullness, more density around that area. So make sure you, you, you do those things. It's a little bit tougher because when you lift it you can't use the card so don't go overboard with the compressor because then you might have to do a little bit more extra work when you clean up with the razor a little spray here and there you know a little tss, tss, a little bit at a time and you pull back and look at what you got how dark it looks and from there you adjust and continue on but anyways after that we're gonna go ahead and continue with the razor clean it up uh, a little tap at a time guys you don't want to go overboard and same with you stretching the skin all right and i don't know if you noticed but not that's around just slithering around still and 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 seeing how the, how this cut is going and probably trying to give me signs of fonts you got to do some more detail but it's okay it's okay it's all right now I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and continue and live my best life as you can see he's still there he's still there and i'm applying a little bit of pomade on top just to lay the hair down a little bit more and chris has to apply more pressure by recording for his video goodbye nata beat it Beat it. Bye. Leave. I'm just finishing off now at this point. So what y'all think? Huh? Huh? Was it fire? Or was it basura? I liked it. I like this video uh, all the way. I mean, Chris is, he, you know, there's not enough I can say about Chris. That's, that's my brother. That's somebody that has changed my life. If you know Chris and you know my story with Chris, we, we just got a whole lot of history. So even though it was a little challenging uh, to cut him, I'm happy I finally got to do it. I'm happy we finally got to make a video. It took me forever to make this video, by the way. He probably dropped it almost a month ago. And it's been two weeks since I've dropped something on this channel. So I'm like taking L's all day. So if you think I deserve an L for this one, just go ahead and put it on the comments below. How many L's should I take for this? That's crazy. A month behind. I'm, I'm going to have to figure this out.
your boy is struggling to drop videos. I am i don't know. I might, I might have to find me an editor and work with the editor. Something's got to give. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention. Uh, I'm dropping content on the Tomb 45 Academy. Me and Chris and some of the other guys are working together to bring together some of the best ideas possible to help all of you that are struggling in this industry or just want to continue to level up in the industry. If you mess with your boy, if you support my channel, if you support what I do, Make sure you sign up for the Tomb 45 Academy. I'm also going to be going on tour soon. We're going to be putting together some uh, private classes to whatever place wants to see me. It could be it could be in Florida. It could be outside of Florida. It could be outside of the U.S. If we if we can do it. Basio, go ahead. He's the media guy. I'm the media guy. He's the media guy. He's the media guy.